currently working on the Medicare for All Act of 2019. Um, I would think there are a couple changes that need to be made to the uh, to the uh, the proposals here because the names have changed of some of the um, of the, the item that. H.R. 676 is no longer a live bill in Congress. It is now and will be the Medicare for All Act of 2019. Uh, today's healthcare system fails to provide <clears throat> quality therapeutic care as a right to all people living in the United States. Nearly 30 million Americans are uninsured, and nearly 40 million are underinsured. In other words, their insurance does not. They pay too high deductible copay, and they can't even afford care even though they pay for health insurance. Um, the quality of our health care is much worse than other industrialized countries. The life expectancy in the U.S. is lower than, than other nations, while our infant mortality rate is much higher. The U.S. spends more money per capita on health care, over $10,000 per person, uh, than any other industrialized nation. We waste hundreds of billions of dollars every year on unnecessary administrative costs, um, and the healthcare industry and insurance companies make money on denying care. And so these executives, um, they measure success in profits instead of patient care. The current healthcare system in the United States is ineffective and inefficient and outrageously expensive. And it's time to remove the profit motive in healthcare to resolve the inefficiencies and to guarantee care, therapeutic healthcare to every person in the United States. Notice I didn't say we provide health coverage, because we're not talking about coverage, we're talking about care. Mm -hmm. uh, the Medicare for All Act of 2019 that will be introduced on, I believe it's the 27th of February, improves and expands the overwhelming success and popular Medicare program so that every person living in the United States has guaranteed access to health care with comprehensive benefits. Comprehensive benefits and freedom of choice, uh, things like re uh, full reproductive health services, uh, substance abuse treatment, ambulatory services. Uh, patients will have complete freedom to choose the doctors and hospitals and other providers they wish to see without worrying about whether the provider is in network. Right now, insurance companies limit care by limiting whether your doctor is in network. So you wait to see a doctor if they're not in the insurance company's network. There'll be no premiums, no co-pays, no deductibles. It will be free at the point of service. Enrollment in Medicare for All would not require any premiums or deductibles. And upon receiving care, patients would not be charged any out-of-pocket costs. This bill will include long-term care services and support for people with disabilities and older Americans. This bill will reduce health care spending and improve care. It would simplify the health care system by moving to a single-payer model. This will, produce, this will reduce the hundreds of billions of dollars wasted on the administration of the current inefficient multi-payer system. And it will be focused on patient care instead of insurance companies, bottom line. The legislation will prevent health care corporations from overcharging for their costs and services and profiting off illness and injury. The legislation prevents providers from using payments for the program for profit, union busting, marketing, or federal campaign contributions. The Medicare for All program will provide global budgets to all institutional providers to help contain the absorbent costs present in the system today. It will reduce the cost of prescription drugs. It will, this bill provides for a two-year transition to Medicare for All. On day, on the first, on, in, in the first year, persons over the age of 55 and under 19 would be eligible, and in year two of enactment, all persons living in the United States would be eligible for the program. And it will preserve the ability of veterans to receive their medical benefits and services through the Veterans Administration and preserve the Native Americans, Native American Health Service, Indian Health Service. So that is kind of a summary of the current uh, Medicare for All Act of 2019.